was some fine calling, wasn't it? Not so much, but we still got this guy and his partner killed. Now, how do you kill turkeys when you're not the greatest caller? This is episode one of how to kill turkeys when you're calling sucks. First way that you kill turkeys when your calling sucks is realize that your calling sucks. Now, some people don't. People live in denial. Uh, I hear these guys on TV, not all of them. You see people like a Michael Waddell or a Dave Owens call, you realize they're here, your calling's here. Maybe below that. But you can still kill a turkey. And the first way you do it find your call. Now, you don't have to be proficient at every call that they make because there's thousands of them. And one of those calls, you can be good at. Keep going through calls until you get to one that works for you, that you can use day in, day out, know you're going to be okay with it, serviceable, the gobbler's answering, and you're not hitting any clinker notes or anything that's going to spook a gobbler off. Alright, for me, diaphragm, trying to purr on it, it sounds like I swallowed it and I'm trying to hock it back up. Terrible. But I still keep it with me because I want to be hands free for that last little bit. Alright, for me, the old slate or his first cousin, the glass, which nowadays they call pot calls. But Find your call, find your cadence, find your rhythm. All right, turkey hunting, when you're working a turkey, it's a rhythm thing and it's a cadence thing. You want that Yelp sequence. If you develop nothing else, no cuts, no anything, develop a decent Yelp. All right, a decent Yelp, you're going to hit that same sequence and you'll hit it a lot. But if you can just get You can just get that. If you find the call that works for you, that you can get that on a regular basis, you can kill a turkey even if your calling ain't great. One thing about learning something from an expert, which not an expert, don't claim to be, but when you learn from an expert, as a general rule, their skill level is here, yours is here, you may never even get to here. But it was like trying to learn algebra. They're writing stuff on the board and explaining and I'm still going 7, 8, 9, 10. It's way above. The only way I ever learned math was from somebody who wasn't that great at math either. People who are savants are really good at something. Sometimes it's hard for them to explain it to somebody who's not because for them it's easy, it's natural, it's normal. For some of us, not so easy, natural, and normal. It's like if I chose the diaphragm as the call of choice, not too good. I'd have killed a few turkeys, but it wouldn't have been that many. That's why finding your call, the one that you personally works for you, your hands, your mouth, your brain, that works for you, that you feel comfortable with, find your call, find your cadence, find that good rhythm, find that timing with the bird, and you're going to kill more turkeys, whether you can call great or not. Can't even get a yelp, you can get a purr. And for me, my purr is best on soft calls. Bird's already gobbled. You feel like he's on his way, but he's silent. You just getting that little extra bit of seduction to come on in. Now, when I use a box call, bad. When I use a diaphragm, bad. I don't even keep a box call in my vest anymore because 
of the fact that I'm so bad with it. Alright, sounds very amateurish. I've been playing around with the wing bone. Most time it doesn't sound great either, but it's a whole lot of fun and you get to make it yourself, so that adds to it. But, episode one of how to kill turkeys when you're calling sucks. Find a call that you can work. And once you do, find your cadence that a good turkey cadence rhythm. Alright, if you five, seven notes, that's all you gotta have. That's it. And do it less is more. Don't overcall. If you've ever hunted with any old people back when, old time turkey hunting, nothing like we do it now. We overcall, we run, we gun, we go places. Back with the old guys, you got about Thirty minutes later, thirty minutes after that, if you hadn't shot a bird, he said, "All right, we give it everything we had. Let's go to the truck." That was it. But they killed a whole lot of birds because most time, in between that little thirty minutes, bird popped up. He might not have gobbled his head off, but he popped in and checked it out because it was very natural, very normal. Find your call. Find rhythm and cadence. All right, don't overcall him. And even if you call him ain't that great, you can still kill a whole lot of turkeys. You're not gonna win a contest, but you might win a cooking contest when you're stripping that breast meat out and soaking it in a little Italian and then putting it on a nice grill. Ooh, it doesn't get any better than that. I don't know about y'all, I cannot wait for turkey season to come in. I'm excited. Ain't overloaded with birds that I can see. Matter of fact, I haven't seen any since deer season, but I'm hoping they show up after this burn and everything's good. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank the good Lord every day for creating this beautiful, beautiful outdoor world we get to live in. Love your family. Take somebody hunting that hadn't been. And we'll see you next time on the Whitetail Cartel.